Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you a little bit about Compusol 3D Player. Compusol 3D Player is a <coughs> Compusol 3D GUI. It's quite intuitive to use, uh, but there are just a few settings that you should be aware of to make uh, your experience uh, you know, more pleasant. So I'm going to open Compusol 3D Player right now. I'm on Windows, of course. Um, Linux and Mac versions are almost identical, so there are no um, essential, no, no, no differences worth talking about uh, in this video between uh, platforms. So, uh, <clears throat> first thing you want to do when you open up a player is to go to Configuration uh, dialog, which is located in Tools Configuration. Okay. And if you look at the Output tab, so we have several tabs, and we will talk about those in a second. And if you look at the Output tab, um, first line says Update Screen Every Nth Monte Carlo Steps. That means that if number 10 is here, then Compusel will run for uh, 10 Monte Carlo Steps and then display a snapshot of the simulation in the GUI. If you set it to... so uh, if you set it to 1, then every single Monte Carlo step you will get a fresh snapshot of uh, simulation display in the, uh, in the screen, on the screen, sorry. So let's do this. Let's uh, change the settings and let's run it. Let's run the simulation. So as you can see, the, let me make uh, the player a little bit smaller. As you can see, the screen uh, gets updated every Monte Carlo step. If I come here and change it to every thousand Monte Carlo steps, okay, what's going to happen is that my screen will be updated every thousand Monte Carlo steps. Well, why is it important? It is important because graphics uh, processing of the graphics is quite expensive, so it's much uh, better if you want your simulation to run relatively fast in the GUI to increase the uh, screen refresh interval to I don't know at least a hundred, but if you develop if you are developing simulation, you know displaying things every Monte Carlo step makes sense. If you run production runs, usually you are better off doing it every hundred or every thousand Monte Carlo steps if you if if that's uh, if that's acceptable. Another feature uh, that we have here is so, uh, is uh, about saving uh, images every nth Monte Carlo steps. So by default, Compusol 3D doesn't uh, the Compusol 3D GUI doesn't change doesn't save anything, okay? But if you want the output of the simulation to be saved, uh, all you have to do is to hit this button and specify the frequency with which the snapshots will be saved. So if I do this, I hit apply and hit OK, and if I rerun the simulation. Well, the simulation will look exactly as before, but every thousand Monte Carlo step, I will have a snapshot of the simulation saved in the directory. Which directory? That's a very good question. So, to locate this directory, we go to Output Settings, and here you have the directory into which Compusol 3D uh, saves the output. So if I go to this directory, let me open up um, Windows Explorer. So it's C users m cc3d workspace, and uh, this is the default directory uh, that Compusol 3D uses. So uh, if I look in this, into this directory, I see a bunch of output uh, direct output folders. Okay. And the folder that I am using currently is the is the one here. How do I know it's the one here? Well, I look at the date modified. It's February 19th, 2015. Okay. I go inside and I have two PNG files. I double click. And this is one of them, and this is second of them. Okay. So that's nice. Now, 
how about saving additional configurations of, uh, of the field so just like you can visualize uh, let me actually stop the simulation and let me run another simulation okay so just like we can visualize uh, the current snapshot the, the one that, that is displayed on the screen we can also switch our view to look at different projections right so right now I'm looking at the I'm looking at uh, XZ projection and in this case the XZ projection is so funny because it's 2D simulation so we see only one single stripe of cells but let's say we want to save this projection along with the the other projection so how do you how do you solve multiple projections of the lattice inside CompuSol? well you use camera button so you switch to desired projection you hit camera button you switch to another projection it's this one you hit camera button you can go even to 3d okay and you have warning here which says uh, that uh, uh, that the individual cells in 3d will be rendered on and the reason the warning pops up because this uh, task can be computationally intensive so you can always cancel it but uh, we don't want to cancel it we want to see computer cell uh, 3d projection so this is how 3, uh, 3d uh, simulation 3D view of the 2D simulation looks like in Contestor 3D. So let's say we want to save this projection. Okay. I click camera button. Now all I have to do is to run simulation. And as a result, what we should see uh, uh, perhaps I should switch away from uh, 3D view to avoid those annoying uh, pop up messages. And as a result, we'll see in a second, I will go to the directory in which, into which we output the screenshots of the simulation, and we will see uh, if indeed those uh, multiple projections were set. All right. So let me pause the simulation. I'm going to go to the CCTV workspace, and I'm going to look at the cell sort directory. And look what we have here. So first of all, we have screenshots in the main uh, in the main uh, folder, main output simulation folder. Okay, and those screenshots are the screenshots that actually. So it's a verbatim copy of the player window at every thousand Monte Carlo steps. Okay, so first we had 3D view, then we switched to 2D view. And then we had another 2D view. Okay. If I want to see 3D projections that we requested player to save, well, here they are. One, two, three. All right. If we want to see those thin slices, XZ projection, here it is. Okay. So this shows you how to save. Um, come to sell uh, 3D output in the form of screenshots. Now, let me stop the simulation. Uh, well, how about changing CompuCell 3D? It's how about changing cell colors? Well, let's say I want non-condensing cells to be green. Well, all you have to do, again, go into uh, cells slash colors uh, tab, pick a color, for your cell and you are done. So now if you rerun the simulation, it will be green. Right? If you want to change cell borders, so cell border is this white line around the cells, you can do it in, in this tab as well. Okay. Finally, and this is probably good place to uh, finish this uh, video but before I finish I want to mention this thing uh, you have director you have one extra directory specified in the output tab which says project location uh, so project location is is a shortcut 
that allows you to so it's a it's a place where you specify the location of the project CompuSoft 3D projects. So how does it work? Let's say you have a lot of projects in uh, in let's say this directory CC3D projects. Okay. If I select this folder and make sure that it's here, I say I put, hit apply and hit OK. Next time I go and op try to open the simulation, the CompuSoft 3D player will automatically go to this CC3D projects directory. Okay, so this saves you lots of clicks potentially on Windows or on Mac or, or anywhere you are. Okay, so this is a uh, this is useful tool. Uh, and especially when, when you work on your own simulations, you should have extra a separate directory with your projects and, and set the path to this directory uh, in CompuSoft Player to to make the you know navigation of the file system faster. All right. So with that, I'm gonna conclude this video and uh, I'll see you at the next update.